We are in Menlo Park for Cars and Coffee, and it seems like Porsches are pretty common here. My friend Oleg is here with me. He also brought his 718 Cayman, and we just parked out on the street because, well, the lot was pretty full. And let's be honest, at a cars and coffee meet like this one with all these really nice cars, a plain Cayman just doesn't really stand out. Another GT4 RS? <laughs> They're just everywhere. Oh, dude. oh snap, is that a four runner? <laughs> Doing it right. Worth a lot now. Oh, Jaguar E type. Some say the most beautiful car in the world. Remember when you almost bought a GTR? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still one more. Sure. Don't let her butt touch the car, man. <laughs> what if, like, all of a sudden we start walking around and I start posing like this with all the cars? <laughs> you, you need a, a photography crew to. Uh, and I'll just be posing exactly yeah. like this. Yeah. yeah. The, and the breakfast in hand. Mm -hmm. You need, like, an entourage. so timid man just run some people over <laughs> She's just trying to come here and get some coffee, you know? <laughs> not even not even here for a, a condo. Damn, look at that big old Jeep. That thing's huge. over there. This one says Boba. <laughs> G-Wagon. All of them have a uh, personalized license plate. Stitching. 
Yeah, this really seems like Porsche country. <laughs> but oh, there's a Lexus. Oh, damn. It's funny how this like GT4 just kind of blends in. Because it's silver. Yeah. Yeah. Is it made to look like one? To look like one. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever driven an RCF. I've driven one. I drifted it. Capture that on GoPro. Yeah. Here. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> 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 wow, kind of got the red, white, and blue going. Miracle. Miracle. Our boy Dima showed up with his uh, GR Corolla. So we decided to, since the lot was emptying out a little bit, we moved all our cars into the lot. Oh. 
it looks nice in the sun. Well, yeah, you know, he is a man of high net worth. So it was pretty awesome coming out to this Cars and Coffee, my debut of my 718 Cayman GTS. And afterwards, I decided to go for a drive since I was in the area. I also decided to take the opportunity to test out the cup holder on the Cayman, see if it can hold a coffee cup securely. I know after some informal polling with Oleg and some of the other 718 Cayman owners, there's not a whole lot of trust or confidence in that cup holder. It just seems like a very flimsy kind of design and uh, I think most owners do not trust it with any form of hot coffee or hot liquids.
I'm sure there will come a time or times when I'll feel like doing my own rev matching or throttle blipping and you can turn off the auto blip if you want you have that option so best of both worlds really Just continuing on doesn't want to or doesn't have time to stop and say hi so oh well maybe I'll catch him next time yeah still getting used to some of the interface of the car the electronic parking brake is one of those things that I have to constantly remind myself how to work it. You know, do you push it to activate? Do you pull to deactivate? I think that's right. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not used to the electric handbrake. I'm used to a physical handle that I can pull on my MR2, on my BRZ. Um, that's just what I'm used to, so I guess with everything, it takes a little bit of practice, and I will learn the ins and outs of this car eventually. And uh, having fun while I do it, I guess. So, I don't know how I feel about this uh, cup holder. It just seems pretty rickety. Doesn't seem very sturdy, so. I'm always a little concerned that, you know, if I had hot coffee in here and uh, I'm driving around in the twisties, kind of like what Oleg was saying, you know, I don't know if you can trust it. If you have a bottle of water, one that you can cap and seal, then I think it's no problem. But uh, hot liquids, I don't know if I can trust it.
just as you reach 4,000 RPM, you start to get some of that intake honk that makes the car sound great. And then you gotta upshift. For those of you that are wondering how the car is doing, well, so far so good. I haven't had any more issues since the dealership cleared the check engine light, so everything has been running fairly well. I'm still in the break-in period. I'm still under 2,000 miles. In fact, I'm under 1,000 miles as of this recording, so still got a ways to go. Fingers crossed that we don't have any other incidents and everything just works as expected going forward. Anyways, thanks for watching. 
Hopefully I will have an update as I get more miles on the car. Once I get through the break-in period, I'll be very excited to be able to rev higher than 4,000 RPM. So not much to report at this point, but uh, stay tuned. See you in the next one. Take care.